Alrighty, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video, and in today's video we are checking out this insane hunter build inside of PvP. And that starts right here with the Renewal Grasp Exotic. What this thing is doing, Depths of Dusk Field. Your Dusk Field grenades have a much larger effect radius. Allies inside the Dusk Field take reduced damage and targets inside the area deal reduced damage. Now, what this is doing, it's doing a couple of things. First of all, it's just giving a flat increase in the size of the dust field. As we'll see later on, this can stack on top of some of the hunter aspects, making it even better. But it's also giving you and your allies reduced damage when you're standing inside of this dust field. It is absolutely insane what this thing can do. On top of that, targets that are inside of the dust field with you, or sorry, targets that are just inside of it in general are doing reduced damage. Now, if you are standing inside of this dusk field with a target that is standing inside of this dusk field, those things are going to stack, and you're going to be taking reduced damage and having them deal reduced damage to you. Those things stack, and it does for some insane damage reduction capabilities. On top of that, with the Revenant Stasis Hunter Subclass, of course, obviously we're using the dusk field grenade, and I personally... You know, maybe Shadow Dive comes into play. If you want, you can also use Winter Shroud for dodging slows nearby targets. It could work. But the main thing is this touch of Winter, because this will stack with the effect of the exotic where it increases the Dusk Real Grenade size. Not only will this spawn an even larger crystal, but it will massively increase the Dusk Real size when you have touch of Winter with this Hunter Exotic Renewal Grasps. The fragments we are using. Whisper of Chains, so that while you are near frozen targets or a friendly stasis crystal, you take reduced damage from targets. This right here, this stacks with the reduction you get inside of the Dusk Field Grenade because of that crystal that spawns. As long as that crystal is up, you're getting the damage reduction offered by Whisper of Chains combined with the damage reduction that you get from the Renewal Grasp Exotic. Whisper of Durance, slow from your abilities lasts longer. For those abilities that linger, their duration will also increase. This is great for slowing, you know, your shurikens, the dust field grenade, and even potentially your dodge. What those are doing is they're slowing the target. This is making sure that they can't get away effectively, and it's just making life a whole lot harder for them, which is great for us. And then to close it all out, we are using the Whisper of Shards, Shattering Stasis Crystals, Temporarily boost your grenade recharge rate. Now, this is great because when you're done with an engagement, you can just break that stasis crystal and you're getting a bonus to your grenade ability. And as we'll see here with our stat distribution 8, 5, 10, 10, 2, and 4, we're getting our dust field grenade back in 24 seconds. And if we break that stasis crystal, that's only going to help us get this grenade back even faster, which is great. Absolutely incredible. If you wanted to see the mods, I will go through really quickly by just showing you and hovering over it. Combination of hand cannon and shotgun mods with the powerful friends to give us charge with light and your supers to get higher energy fire, which, you know, can be beneficial from time to time. For our weapons, we are using this Dire Promise. Very, very great roll. As well as this 7th Seraph CQC-12 shotgun. Lightweight frame, full choke, accurized, quick draw, snapshot, range, masterwork. These two are very, very competitive guns that I'd love to use. Now, that being said, let's see how this build does. Alrighty, and welcome Iron back. Banner. This is Iron Banner on the anomaly using our beloved Dusk Field Grenade build. Brand new exotic. Let's see how this you pans out in the anomaly. It's a small map, but a good amount of corridors so that the Dusk Field should be able to take pretty good care of us. Especially with our shotgun. It'll be used pretty well in those corridors. A lot of people going through there. No one is thinking to go through here. 
gonna put this straight down right off the roof. Don't know exactly where that came from. But as we can see, our crystal is out. Not be a good place to stay. Now or then. See if we can't rush this guy. Ah! Got me with the melee. Got one kill, but we could do a little bit better. Heavy's gonna be spawning up and already so soon. Seeing red, but of course the heavy is what's calling me. Ah, dang it, teammate. A precious resource. Use it wisely. Took care of him. Be a great help if we could get B right now. Oh, but they're taking A. And be the last thing you hear. Don't exactly know where my team is at right now in terms of capturing zones. But I guess I don't really have much room to talk. Not the best scenario to be stuck in. That guy takes three melee hits to kill. Maybe should have stuck in the moon lost sector a little bit longer. See if that won't drive him off the zone. He did choose to freeze. And of course, as the non-team player, the top of the leaderboard get that Titan is, he will not cap the zone. Opponent claims zone C. Not exactly the best scenario to be stuck in right now. Could have gotten the shotgun off on him, but did secure the Titan kill. Could benefit from a zone capture about now. Regen, that slight bit of health missing. Dang, a lot of things going on right here, just trying to cap a zone, but can't be that evasive. The team pulling up to the scene. Trying to stay away from that person with the hand cannon gunning me down. But man, the team couldn't get that guy. Blank is very effective. So close to death, got flinched pretty far off my shot. Ah, uh, he's AFK. Oh, that is a teammate. No need to shoot a teammate. So close, if I had just been a little bit more precise with those shots. Hey, wall. Like right there. Ah, 
trying to cap the zone. Let's go. Capping that B point, man. It's a very hard battle. Can be sometimes. I don't exactly want to hand it over to them right now. Go right through that dusk peeling on there. The shotgun melee. Does its work. Ooh. Got way flinched off that guy. Putting in work with that pulse rifle. Kinda scared me right there, not gonna lie. Aim out nowhere. See if we can't get this capture. Nice barricade. Keep it me alive, love to see it. And that is a triple cap. And those are two people. Could have been handled better on my part. But we are in a triple cap. Turning this game around pretty well. Missed both of those. Oh, okay. Well, wasn't exactly expecting a Nova Bomb to be thrown in my face right there, but it definitely was. Plus red, but it appears to have left. We can get that B. This game could be pretty well set. Very nice for taking control of lanes. You have the advantage. Press on. Whereas that could have been a potential death. For me, well, that was, but in that hallway right there, the exotic just keeps you alive in those scenarios where you really need it. We just gotta keep them at bay long enough to secure this victory. Oh, that is clean double kill with the galley keeping that zone control and in the end securing us a victory with a last minute super and, victory and that is, an is what the renewal grasp can do for you inside of the crucible all right now as we saw with that gameplay this exotic is very good inside of the crucible now we can see that the combination of all those different types of damage reduction being at play is really helpful for all types of engagements. Whether you're using it defensively or offensively, it's just a great overall build to be using inside of the Crucible. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Destiny 2 videos.